happy to be checking in with Quincy, a DPW Commissioner Al Grazioso, as they gear up for what's going to be a pretty major snowstorm. Al, how are you? I'm well, thank you, Joe. How are you? Doing okay. I uh, appreciate the opportunity to talk to you uh, about this. It's really the first, uh, I guess, big snow event in a couple of years, right? Yeah, we really didn't have any major events last year, so um, it, it is, it, you're correct, it, it, is, it should be the biggest one we've had in a few years. Yeah, talk a little bit about uh, storm prep, what you're doing right now. Well, I mean, we, we uh, you know, we're probably getting ready to put about 130 pieces out on the street. Um, we, uh, you know, we have all our contractors lined up, all our in-house help. Um, one of the other issues that we're preparing for for this storm are uh, astronomical high tides. So we, you know, make sure that we check all our tide gates, uh, all our areas we've had problems in the past. We've been out cleaning catch basins and making sure drainage is working. So um, we have we have to keep an eye on that, um, especially in those areas that we've had trouble um, down in the House Neck area. Um, North Quincy, parts of Squanum, any areas that flood due to the ocean. So we're looking at that, um, you know, make sure we have plenty of salt on hand. Um, um, you know, we are in touch with the school department, we, you know, waiting to hear on their plans. Um, so it's just a, you know, it's a general prep. Um, and then we just wait for the storm to come. What's kind of the uh, the game plan for plowing? You know, what's what's the procedure for uh, when you start and, and where you start? Well, we have, you know, we have um, the, the city's broken up into different zones and we have different contractors who, who have covered those particular zones, uh, you know, for years. So they're familiar with the areas. Then we uh, use our own in-house. So people are assigned to different areas. Um, as you know, there's a snow emergency that will go in effect at 6 p.m. Um, this evening, Wednesday evening. Uh, so we will be out. Um, we will be out going into neighborhoods uh, with the police, trying to notify people if their cars are on the road in an illegal area, uh, a snow emergency area. Um, if they're on the wrong side of the road, it is the even year to park your car on the even side of the street. So we will start at six, even though the snow may not come in till 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, uh, we're out there. We will be um, notifying residents. And then uh, unfortunately, if we can't get someone to move, we will be towing vehicles this evening. Yeah, um, and uh, that's at the owner's expense, uh, um, as, as I understand, right? Yes, it is, it is. Uh, we did, I know the city uh, has put out notices. Uh, we've been on city website, Facebook, we notice, notified people last night with a, um, um, a, a robo call to uh, our residents to inform them. So we've, we've trying to take all steps, you know, necessary to inform the public um, what's coming and to please, um, you know, uh, it's just a good time, help your neighbor. If you have a big driveway and your neighbor doesn't, maybe you can, you know, let that person park in your driveway just to get the vehicles off the streets. Yeah, I know the mayor mentioned even if you are allowed to park, you know, on the even numbered side, if you can get your car off the street, all that much better, right? Yeah, and the first snowstorm is a big one for us because if, you know, we try to, we want to get the streets right to the curb the best we can. And, um, you know, if people are impeding our plowing and that snow, if it's a bad winter, can stay there all year. So, this is a, an important storm for us to really try to push the snow back. Yeah, what, what are kind of your key challenges, do you think, with this particular storm? Right now, it looks like it may start out as kind of the wet, pasty stuff with, with uh, transition to lighter stuff later. Yeah, I, I mean, it's, um, you just don't know. You don't know what's going to, you know, how, different parts of the city, you may have, the, the snow could be wet and pasty right in the, uh, along the ocean, and then you get, up into the hills of West Quincy and it's more pottery, but um, you know, it, it's always a little bit colder up there, one or two degrees. Uh, sometimes we get, you can have no snow down along the coast and we get more up there. So now uh, the hills are an important piece. And then, you know, we want to make sure that after the snow's up, we put enough salt on that we'll melt any ice. So those are the challenges. The other challenge is the duration of the storm. Um, you know, people will be out plowing, you know, 
12, 15, 24 hours, they'll be clean up into Friday. So, you know, people get tired. So um, that's always a challenge for us. Um, and the other challenge is this, this time, um, there's a lot of our contractors and people are dealing with COVID issues amongst crews. And, and so, um, you know, I think everyone in the state struggling with that issue. Is this a storm where you might be able to use your, uh, your brine solution at the outset? No, I think the way it's going to come in, I think it's, um, you know, we'll just, uh, we'll, it's going to come in and we're just going to plow and then we'll, we'll use salt. So, um, and what about the sidewalks, Al? How are those uh, handled? Uh, we have a, we have a, a sidewalk crew that will, um, they'll go out a little bit later um, because one of the issues you have is the plows are plowing the snow onto the edge and then the sidewalk plows throw it back. So we want to, it's kind of a timing issue, but um, we have um, extensive uh, mileage of sidewalks we do around the city. So it's a, it's a big undertaking. Um, so um, those guys will probably be in, they'll come in towards the later portion of the storm and start the sidewalks. Um, I think tomorrow is going to be a day that most people are going to be home. We're going to be snowing heavily at rush hour in the morning and into at least noontime. And now I'm hearing it may go into late afternoon. So um, I would just, if, if you can stay home, um, obviously it's um, better for everyone and, and for your own safety. Sure. How are you set um, equipment wise in terms of uh, trucks and, and plows, things like that? We probably have about 130 pieces that are going to be out on the street. And that's just all city uh, or is that a it's, combination? It's a combination, contract yeah. or city. Um, so, and as I understand it, um, the new parking garage at the old Hancock lot is available for p folks to get their cars off the street? Yes, that's, that's, what, um, that's what I've heard also, correct. Okay, so that may help you in the downtown area, certainly. Yep. Uh, Absolutely. What, are the, what are the challenges in the, the downtown area, the Hancock Adams common area? Al, how do you handle that, that area? Well, that's a, it, it's, um, it's a big issue up there. Um, we want to try to keep that area clean and uh, you have to move a lot of snow around. It's not easy to get in there and move that snow around. So it's, um, you know, we'll be cleaning up there for a couple of days. We want to keep access uh, to the park. So, um, um, you know, we have a crew that goes up and handles that area. The garage area is new for us this year. Um, it wasn't, Last year we didn't have to deal with that, but so we have uh, a crew up there also uh, keeping that area clean and, and the sidewalks clean and uh, so people can get, can get in and out of the garage. Yeah. Can you use, you know, regular plows at the, at the common, the, the Adams common area? Or uh, we have to be very careful the equipment we use. There's a certain uh, type of um, brick and concrete and, you know, we have to use specialized ice melt. So it's, um, we have to be very careful. Um, the other thing is, you know, we don't like to put heavy equipment on there because, um, you know, grease or oil or whatever can get into some of that, some of those beautiful pavers. So we, we, uh, we have a plan. We follow it pretty uh, originally how we take care of those areas. Sure. And you uh, take care of all the municipal, like the libraries, schools, um, okay. your, yes. your department, obviously. Yeah. Yes. With, we, and we have help from other departments, the park department, cemetery department. Um, they're all hands on deck also. Yeah. Do you plow the cemetery roads also? Yes. Okay. Yeah. The cemetery department handles. They handle that? Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking with, you know, Christmas just a week away, a lot of folks are going to probably want to get to the cemeteries, um, to, to leave a wreath or what have you. Correct. All right. Well, anything else you'd like to share with folks? I know there's a snow hotline, um, that people can snow call. hotline is, uh, if they can call 617-376. One nine two seven. And what will that get them out? We're just showing folks all the information here now. That's the emergency. Uh, if they have an issue or they, you know, are looking, their road didn't get plowed or whatever. Um, they, we will, uh, we do have um, live people that will take calls. If not, it will go to um, the voicemail, but we take all those calls down and, um, Oh, uh, they can, um, they go to the snow hotline. Um, I think it's, you'll see it right there. Um, 
Yep, uh, 376, 1927. 1927. Or um, the uh, email address, snowhotline at quinzyma.gov. Correct. So send an email as well. We should remind folks about uh, the change in um, trash pickup, uh, Alpha Good. Yeah, good point. Yeah, so there will be no Thursday trash pickup. Uh, anyone who was uh, on a Thursday, and I believe it is Ward 2 in a little section of Ward 1, that will be moved to Friday. Friday's normal pickup is Ward 4. That will be moved to Saturday. Okay, so just so like please, the holiday. Yeah, so please keep your barrels off off the uh, off the roads tomorrow, if, if possible. Um, this helps us tremendously. Sure, and actually, because of Christmas and next week, it'll be it'll be the same thing, right? It'll be delayed right. one day. Yeah. Right. 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 Are you anticipating trouble with the uh, down trees, power lines, things like that? Well, I, it, you know, again, I all along they've been saying it's going to be a light powdery snow, which helps that. Now they're shifting a little bit, but uh, luckily. Um, there, there are some strong winds predicted, so we'll have to see. Uh, luckily, all the leaves are off the trees, so that helps a little bit. So um, if that's an issue, again, we can call. We have, you know, the, the park department is always uh, on call for those tree issues, emergency issues. So um, if there is a tree that comes down or wires come down, um, you, you, can, you can either use a hotline or call the park department. Sure. And I believe on that sheet there's a national grid number also. There is. Uh, we'll show that again for folks. Uh, it's an 800 number. I know if there's uh, any power issues at all down to, down to the bottom here, folks can see that. It's 800-465-1212. Uh, 800-465-1212 or the website there, uh, nationalgridus.com slash ma dash home slash storms dash outages. <laughs> so if you can congest all that, <laughs> you can get there as well. <laughs> Very good. Appreciate your time, Al. Good to talk to you. Anything else we should remind folks about right now? Uh, just, um, again, I try to enjoy the storm the best you can. Relax. Um, you know, it's helpful if while we're plowing, if people aren't throwing snow back out onto the street. Um, it, it just makes it a lot easier for all of us um, in the cleanup. So just um, everyone be safe um, and um, help your elderly neighbors wherever you can. Um, there may be people that are sick with COVID that can't go out and shovel. So anywhere, any way you can help, we can help each other. That's, it's great for our community. It's a great point. Uh, and I know uh, the fire department frequently asks if folks could dig out a hydrant near their home. That is helpful as well. Yes. And what about um, storm drain? Should they try and dig those out if possible? Yeah, that's if, if you can do that. I mean, after storms, we try to get out and, and clean those areas. But anytime you can do that um, is always helpful. I sure. mean, we have over 9,000 catch basins around the city. So obviously, we can't go and dig them all out. So, Yeah. And the state roads in the city, Al, is that handled by you or by the state? That's, that's by the state. DCR, Wallace and Beach, Furnaceburg Parkway, those, um, those roadways are handled by uh, Department of um, Conservation and Recreation. Sure. All right. Good to talk to you. Appreciate your time. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I know you've got a long uh, stretch ahead of you, so uh, get, get some rest. Okay. <laughs> have a great day. You too, Al. Thank you. Bye-bye.